welcome to Sleep Now Goal. I'm your host, Megan Hemingway. At the age of 20, I began having trouble sleeping. Some nights I sleep deeply. Seven straight hours of dreams, drool, and those funny marks you get from your sheets and pillows. But other nights, I barely sleep at all. I never found myself searching for sleep remedies before, but now Google is my greatest ally. How to fall asleep. What to do when you can't Ways sleep. to fall asleep that help you sleep. Sleep only seems to come by some invisible miracle. By many methods, a few rituals, and endless home remedies. On today's episode of Sleep Now Goal, I will guide you through a single, somewhat sleepless night. But hopefully... By the time we're done, we'll both be fast asleep. Every night, I do the same routine. Putting on pajamas is the first, and I'd say most vital, step. Whether you wear oversized sweatshirts, striped sets with buttons running down the front, or nothing at all, PJs are a sign that the day is finally over. I personally prefer my sweatpants with constellations drawn on them and a big t-shirt. My favorite has a picture of Elton John on it. Next, I wash my face. Here's a fun fact. I didn't really know how to wash my face until late middle school. I thought that there was some kind of trick to it, like the women in skincare commercials. Do I splash the water in a special way? How do I keep my shirt from getting wet? I think I need to keep my eyes closed for this. Anyway, I figured it out, and now I do it every night. Then I brush my teeth. Listen to that all too familiar sound. Recently, I've been using a children's toothbrush. It has Anna from Frozen on it. My mom thought I was silly to buy it, but I think it's kind of sweet. The toothbrush is kind of destroyed now. Don't you hate when toothpaste starts sticking to the neck of the brush, or the bristles start looking like they've been electrified? Oh, don't forget your retainer. You still wear yours, right? Now this is self-care. Back in my room, I like to moisturize my skin and braid my hair. These are rituals I've done every night since I was in middle school and high school. I do them because they get me ready for bed, but also because they're familiar. After so many years, these little habits remind my brain and my body that It's finally time to sleep. Hold me close and hold me fast. This magic spell you cast. This is la vie rose. When you kiss me, heaven sighs. And though I close my eyes, I see la vie rose. When you press 
listening to, to your heart. heart. I'm in a world apart, a world where roses bloom. And when you speak, angels sing from above. Every day would seem to turn into love songs. Give your heart and soul to me, and life will always be lovely. After I get in bed, fluff up my pillows, turn from one side to the other, and eventually close my eyes, I never find that sleep comes right away. My brain keeps working, churning out endless thoughts. One, two, I'm three, thinking many thoughts. four, five. I hate counting sheep. Should I ask more people about my bangs? Did you know that moose are bigger than cars? What am I going to eat for breakfast this tomorrow? This is my stream of consciousness. Did my hair look okay today? What did I dream about last night? What time is I've it? I've never been good at improv. How many hours of sleep should a person get Mary each night? had a little lamb. How tall are giraffes really? Mary had What's the most popular brand of toothpaste? This place was white as snow. Is it, is it, are those the M-E-G-A-N. words? M-E-G-A-N. Hmm. Who was Mary anyway? I wish I could fall asleep. To fall asleep, I need somewhere to focus my thoughts. I need a simple idea. A story. To keep my brain at bay. When most people think of a bedtime story, they imagine counting sheep, Little Red Riding Hood, or the peaceful scene of cows grazing in a field. But stories like those never make me tired or even comforted. What's so comforting about farm animals anyway? What really relaxes me is the most comforting feeling in the world. Love. I'm not scared of anything. I don't Me, know. I'm scared of everything. I'm scared of what I saw. I'm scared of what I did, of who I am. And most of all, I'm scared of walking out of this room and never feeling the rest of my whole life the way I feel when I'm with you. Imagine you're in the car with your family. It's 1960 something, and you're going up north to some mountain resort paradise. You get there, and everyone is beautiful and rich, and what happens next? Anyway, you're walking a wooded path. It's dark, and you're carrying something heavy. Then, there's a light, a cabin full of music. You enter, and there are your three dads. But which one is your real one? Oh, your mom is going to be so pissed. Wait, wrong movie. Okay, start again. So you're on the soccer field, right? You're running, kicking the ball along when out of the corner of your eye, you see a boy. There's music playing. He's holding a boom box. No, wait, he's singing. Is that right? Are you at prom? He's Romeo and you're Juliet, but then, really, it was was a prank the whole time? Or maybe you're the man. The, The daughter of the British monarch, the fake girlfriend, the... Let's fast forward to the good part. It's New Year's Eve. You're a little sad and a little lonely. There's champagne cold in your hand and everything around you glitters like the stars. You look around and realize you have no one to kiss. No one at all. Not until he comes. Out of breath and eyes wide. How about this way? 
I love that you get cold when it's 71 degrees out. I love that it takes you an hour and a half to order a sandwich. I love that you get a little crinkle above your nose when you're looking at me like I'm nuts. I love that after I spend a day with you, I can still smell your perfume on my clothes. And I love that you are the last person I want to talk to before I go to sleep at night. And it's not because I'm lonely. And it's not because it's New Year's Eve. I came here tonight because when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. And then you kiss. And then you kiss. And then you... Have you fallen asleep yet? No, me neither. Not yet. So what do you do when you can't sleep? I get up after tossing and turning. I walk through the house, go back to bed. I still can't sleep. I get up and I have a glass of warm milk with a couple of graham crackers. And that I go back great. to sleep. Awesome. How about that, huh? That sounds pretty good. <clears throat> what do you do when you can't sleep? So some things I do when I need to fall asleep, or maybe not need, but I want to fall asleep and I can't, is I, I don't trick myself. I don't think to myself, okay, Foster, you need to fall asleep right now and just close your eyes, focus on blah, 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 and then fall asleep. No. Yeah, um, I, I hit the sack. I'm dead to the world till the next morning, so very seldom I have trouble sleeping. I think I would just watch TikToks until I fall asleep. <laughs> TikTok. If I'm not tired, I'm not going to be able to fall asleep. So even though everyone says to not do this, I go on my phone. I go on my phone and I just w wait until I'm tired because that's the only time that I'm able to fall asleep. Ah, I watch television. I go. I, I sleep with my television on anyway. So if I can't sleep, I just watch TV. I actually have a really easy time sleeping, but there are nights when I cannot sleep at all, and I always go back to doing the same thing. This one routine I have, which is picking up a book on my shelf that I did not enjoy whatsoever, that I found really boring, which unfortunately happens to be Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Just get up and, you know, maybe read. As much as I love Jane Austen, I will read a chapter of that book because it's so mellow and the writing has no big conflicts and it'll just put me right to sleep. When I'm um, f trying to fall asleep, usually what I'll think about is I'll think of little stories in my head. Um, sometimes it's fan fiction that I'm writing. Sometimes they're just random short stories. Sometimes they're continuations of dreams that I've had in the past. Count sheep. Do you really? No. Oh. I often go and make a plate of nachos because nachos are yummy and they fill me up and they make me sleepy. But if it's really bad and I just I can't pass out at all, it's like two in the morning and I'm like fully wide awake. Um, sometimes I'll start doing like homework or I'll play video games or something just to like keep me busy because I'm figuring I'm, I'm awake, I might as well do something. I will try envisioning a piece of blank white paper. And all I do is focus on that piece of blank white paper, nothing on it, just a piece of paper. What I need when I can't sleep is I literally just need to talk because I, I just need, I have so many thoughts in my brain at all times. And when I can't sleep, they just build up. Um, and I also think about how I would explain things that I like to other people. How I would how I would go about telling them about the plot and the characters and stuff like that. And I just kind of think through that. And sometimes that like leads me off in different directions. But sometimes it's just kind of a nice way to like stay in my mind while my body like ploops, ploops into sleep. There have been cases where I'll end up just staying awake like the entire night because I just feel no, uh, like I have full energy the entire night and I'll just stay awake until the next morning and then go to class and stuff, which isn't really good, but it happens occasionally.
Before you go, I'd like you to meet one of Sleep Now Goal's greatest voices. Here is Via. Hi friends, my name is Via Belleville. I'm a sophomore interior architecture major and theater minor. I've sung lullabies for a couple of episodes in this series, and it has been a lot of fun. I've been singing my whole life, starting from just singing around the house and in my church choir, to being a part of choral groups and getting into theater and doing musicals, which has become my passion. Singing lullabies for this podcast has been a blast. I love helping with these kinds of projects. Any chance to sing, I'll take. Like, I love posting singing videos on TikTok and especially love hearing other people's singing videos. I have a whole folder of beautiful covers and original songs that have come across my For You page. Most of the time, when I try falling asleep, I will find one of those videos and play it on repeat until I doze off. Honestly, those videos probably have hundreds of views from me just playing it on repeat. Having those soft, beautiful songs to fall asleep to really help me. I've always had some sort of soft music or white noise in the background while I sleep. It just really soothes me. So, I hope that my little lullabies in the background of these episodes have provided some calmness to your day. I have a dream, a song to sing, to help me cope with anything. If you see the wonder of a fairy tale, you can take the future, even if you fail. I believe in angels, something good in everything I see. I believe in angels, when I know the time is right for me, I'll cross the stream, I have a dream, have a dream, a fantasy, to help me through. And my destinations make it worth the while Pushing through the darkness, still another mile I believe in angels, something good in Everything I see, I believe in angels. When I know the time is right for me, I'll cross the stream. I have a dream. I'll cross the stream. I have a dream. Thank you to Blue Dot Sessions and to freesound.org for helping me put together this episode. Have a good night, Coles.